Hi, I'm Thomas Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And we're gonna talk shoes. We're talking the New Balance. Fuel Cell. Rebel. V2. Robbie, I'm excited about this shoe. I know it doesn't come out until 2021. It's a good thing for some of the other shoes on our best in gear list that this didn't come out this year because this shoe is fire. When we say fire, we mean like hot fire. Fire compliment to every shoe mm -mm. brand out there. Mm -mm. And it's a huge differentiation from the first fuel cell uh, Rebel, which had this very interesting design that- Jacquard. With a jacquard, jacquard mesh upper. Running in the shoe, Robbie, of non-plated shoes, this is probably my favorite shoe I've Look, run in. He can't in. even hold back, he has to say yeah. it. This is a giddy up shoe, this is fun. You're gonna wanna run fast in it. It's soft enough to run slow. So I really like what they did with the upper here. It's a great update. I wasn't a huge fan of the upper on the original Rebel. As a matter of fact, I said, I wish they had just put the Bozzy Pace Mm. Uh, upper on the Rebel bottom. When I said that, somebody was kind enough at New Balance to go ahead, take the Vazi upper and put it on the Rebel's midsole. This, this is, upper, even better. Wow, so th do you think it's the Vazi, it's what you wanted in this shoe, has finally come together in this shoe? This is better than anything I could have designed. Right here? Yeah, okay. this, the, <laughs> That's the, probably good. <laughs> yeah, this feels really great. The heel counter is about perfect in it. Just the open airiness of this mesh, it's like, like this is a screen door, like your foot is, is gonna be able to be nice and cool in this shoe. The one weird thing about this upper is the tongue. I would have loved it to be attached. They didn't have it gusseted, mm. so it's a free hanging. That's a pretty, negative in Thomas's gusset book. Pretty, pretty big tongue, like look at, look at all that. Yeah. By the way, this gold color is beautiful. Color of the year according to Pantone. Moving down to the midsole, this yeah, fuel cell. Go. Robbie, I don't know if this has nitrogen in it or not, but it has that same feel as some of the nitrogen midsoles that we've been looking at. But this one feels a little more sophisticated. Okay. It has a nice give to it, but it also has nice energy return. New Balance does say that this is their most bounciest responsive type fuel cell iteration yet. The other thing they did is they dialed back, if you can see it has like a wing yeah. off to the side here, and you can see the exaggerated geometry, if I hold it up here, it kind of swoops out on the side. They kind of tamed that down a little bit, but it still has what's good about that. And what that did was, as you land and went through your stride, it rolled you off your toe a little more easily. So you get that fast feel, calming it down, bringing it in, putting it on the softer foam. It just really creates a phenomenal feeling underfoot. Robbie, you're ready to weigh it, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, I just the scale sitting there, let's put it on. 7.8 ounces. For your men's size 10 and a half. And grams, we got. 221. No Great. weight gain, no weight loss. No love lost, only ah. love gained. This is the best New Balance I've ever worn. And you know what? The rest of the reviewers tend to agree with this from everyone that's been wearing it. Everyone's minds are blown. Yeah, you're talking about the Believe and Run reviewers that are also Sorry. running in the shoe. The reviewers on our team. Let's talk about the drop real quick. Mm -hmm. So we got a 26 millimeter in the heel, 20 millimeter in the forefoot. That's six if you're doing math. Boom, six millimeter drop. The Hokamok 4 that's coming out next year, one of your favorite daily trainer type of shoes, really excited about that. How would you compare that against this shoe? I would use the shoes for different things, but if I could only have one, this is it. This would be it. Okay. The reason I like the Mach 4 is because it pairs really nice with the Carbon X2. Do it all shoe or tempo you know, daily trainer? You know, it doesn't have a plate, so I wouldn't say do it all if you're really into the like, performance racing. If I was on a budget and I wanted one shoe that was gonna cover everything, this is the shoe. Which by the way, speaking of budget, 130 bucks, not that crazy. Really love the package. I love everything about it. It looks good, feels good. I might fix the tongue if I, you know, could do something about it. You're gonna want this shoe. You're gonna like this shoe. Uh, New Balance fans are gonna lose their mind over this shoe. Okay, so that's exciting. So Robbie, when will people be able to get this shoe? March 1st, 2021, two months from when this video comes out which is New Year's Day. Happy New Year, by the way. If you get this shoe and you don't like it, you can drive by my house and throw it at me. Robbie, tell the people what to do about this video. So obviously like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on all of our social media, Instagram, Facebook, Strava Group. Podcast, we gotta get them on the podcast. You know what? 
I'm gonna call my buddy at New Balance and we're gonna talk about this shoe on the podcast. Okay. You know you didn't get what you wanted for Christmas. Here it is. And that's a wrap on the Rebel 2. Peace. Two, peace. I don't know what, they call this thing a jewel on the lateral side. Mm -hmm. It has that cool technology when you were a kid with baseball cards. When Is that you called lenticular? I think you're right. It might be. Wow, look at you. But when you when he went from like in his batting stance to swinging the bat, it says new balance, and then it says fuel cell. You like that? That's the best part of the shoe. <laughs> <All right. laughs>